Hi everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. Today I'm coming at you with a compound strength workout. So you will be working within 45 seconds of work with a 15 seconds of recovery. There's two blocks and you'll repeat it twice before you move on to another block. Then we're gonna end with some core and you'll be good to go. Okay, so let's get strong together. I'm gonna to be working with 12s and 15s. Um, have your weight options available to you if you have them. All right, so we're gonna start with a skater and we're gonna add an arm jack to it. So we're gonna skate back, bring those arms up and then cross in front and skate back. So you wanna make sure that knee is tracking, cross behind you, chest up. Good, nice and easy. Reach with those arms, sit back into that skater. Breathe, nice work, awesome. Remember to always work within your parameters. Form always trumps how many you do. All right, keep it going here. We're gonna do eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big, nice, wide stance. We're just gonna take those arms. We're gonna squat and pull back. Reach for the toe, pull back with the arm. Squat, pull, squat, pull. Good, down and up, nice. Breathe, bend those knees. Reach across, reach across. Awesome, nice work. Now we're gonna kind of move into a pivot here. Eight, seven, explain in a minute here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna pivot those feet. So we're gonna turn and pivot. You're gonna reach down, pull back, two jacks. Other, same side, reach, center, two jacks, pivot. So it's a, a lunge, but all you're doing is you're pivoting to that side. Up, two, good. Pivot, in, nice. Pivot, in, up, good. We got one more this side, pivot, in, up. We're gonna take it to the other side. So pivot, in, up, two. Pivot, in, up, two. Come on, down, up, good. Pivot, reach that hand, jack it two times, two more. Pivot, in, jack for two, one more. So you gotta make sure that that knee tracks with you. And two, now we're gonna continue on with those jumping jacks. Actually, you know what, we're just gonna go into some hamstrings here. So coming into some bicep curls, I want you to take that heel back behind you, Kick your booty, good, curl it up. Change those arms to center, good, nice. And we're gonna do one to the outward, one to the center, here we go. Out, in, out, in. Kick those heels behind you, add a little spring to your step if you can, go. Good work, come on, go. Heel back, hamstrings warming up, nice. Keep it going here, eight, eight. Seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Front jack, up, good. Raising those arms to the side. We're gonna change the jacks in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, half jacks, half, 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 good. We're gonna change them again in four, three, two, one, lateral out. Slight bend in those elbows, nice work. You have one more change in your jacks in four, three, two, one, push it out. Good, last set of jacks, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, give me some arm circles. All right, we're gonna finish with just a little bit of a twisting inchworm. 
Now I've done these before in some of my core classes, so some of you may be unfamiliar. We're gonna be doing when we get to the core, so I wanna give you kind of a heads up as to how this will work. So you're gonna turn your body sideways. You're gonna have your feet tracking one foot in front of the other. The back leg hip is going to rotate. So you're gonna rotate so the body, front of your body is rotating forward. You're gonna soften your knees, you're gonna reach your hands to the floor, and in this twisting position, you're gonna plank. All right, so feel how that feels, that outside hip. So we're gonna bring that back leg in, back, walk it back. All right, good, we're gonna do one more. Walk it out, so remember, you're gonna twist that body, rotating forward, so we're not here, we're here. Walk it out, soften the knees, walk your body out. Beautiful, hold it, drive that knee, bring it back, and walk it in. All right, so you're gonna get a log of land here on that. We're gonna do one more on the other side, same exact thing. So I call this kind of a tightrope stance so your feet are in line with each other. All right, so we're just gonna rotate that hip forward, so body's facing this way, soften your knees, walk your hands. Now it's gonna feel different on one side. Hold it here, back leg crosses, pull it back, walk your body back. Good, feel how that feels. You got one more. Rotate forward, soften the knees, walk your body out, plank position, feel that outside hip. Beautiful, cross that knee, bring it in, and walk it back. Nice work. Coming into some knee hooks here just to stretch it out. We're gonna get started. So you'll see those twisting inchworms at the very end. Go ahead, grab a stretch here. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, chin and chest high. Ha, grab some water if you need to. All right, we're gonna get ready with our workout circuit. Like I said, the work is 45 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, have an assorted of uh, weights if you have them. So your first move, I'm gonna demo it first before I turn on my timer. All right, so here's what you got. You have the weight in your left hand. Remember those pivots that we did in our warm up? So you're gonna pivot with that toe. You're gonna to, uh, lunge down, and then you're gonna clean it. You're gonna give me two squat pulses, and then you're gonna press it. All right, so you're gonna follow that all the way through on one side, and then we will go to the other side, all right? So make sure that when you pivot, you're turning that toe out and you're pivoting with that back leg so you're getting that tracking going on. All right, here we go. Take it down, clean it, two squats, pulses, and press again. Pivot, clean, pulse, pulse, press. Good. Pivot, clean it, squat, two, and press. Pivot, clean it, squat, two, and press, 20 seconds, hook, squat, and press, good, down, clean, pulse, pulse, and press, I think we got about time for one more, down, clean, pulse, pulse, and press, one more, clean, pulse, pulse, and press, all right, roll out that shoulder, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, it may feel a little different because when we change sides, it takes our body a little bit to adapt to that other side. Three, two, one, here we go. Lunge in, clean it, pulse, pulse, press. Lunge, clean, pulse, pulse, press. Lunge, clean, pulse, pulse, press. Good, clean. So a clean is just racking it to that position here. Pulse, pulse, press. 17 seconds. In, pulse, pulse, press. That opposite hand can be doing just about anything that feels right for you. Pulse, pulse, press. We got one more. Clean, hook, hook, and press. Nice, all right. Now stay with that heavier weight if you can. We're gonna come into a lateral lunge. You're gonna lean down, that calls our, our lateral squat. You're gonna give me two rows, nice and high. Then you're gonna step back, you're gonna give me a skater. All right, here we go. Side, booty back, high pull row. Right, you're all the way back. 
kind of what I would call a lawnmower row. Yeah, and skate. Come on, two rows. One, up, two, and drive that leg back. Good, so we're creating a little instability here. So a lot of times I refer to this as a lateral lunge. It's really not a lunge at all. It's kind of a squat. Sit back, pull. Nice, come on. So now, two rows. Beautiful, you should start to be feeling that heart rate kind of climbing. That's what happens when we do compound moves. Oh, uh, woo. And recover, we're doing the same thing other side. Lateral squat, one leg's trailing, one leg's bent. Ooh, we got eight seconds. We're going in four, three, two, one. Lunge in, two high pull rows. So when I say high pull, I mean I want you to really pull back with that elbow. So it's a strong pull back, like you're starting a lawnmower. Ugh. And up, good, down and up. <sighs> Row, squeeze that shoulder blade back. <sighs> Stay focused. That front knee is tracking over your shoelaces in and out. Good. Double row here. Deep. Awesome. Legs are getting a nice significant workout here. So is that core. And of course, that upper back. Oh. Oh. Give me a nice strong skater. Nice work. Now you're gonna pick up a medium weight here. I'm gonna go with 12s. We're gonna speed this up. We're gonna go into a windmill squat, but we're gonna kind of speed this up. So it's gonna be a reach across, and you're going to alternating sides, bringing that weight to your toe. Here we go. So you don't wanna to go too, too heavy, because you want that form to be good. So you're reaching, reaching. Reaching, now this is a squat, sit into it. So you're traveling windmills, reach. This is gonna really elevate that heart rate here. Yeah, come on, down. Good, out. Woo, 15 seconds, out. Heads forward, get oxygen into those muscles, bend those knees, woo, feeling this, six seconds. Good work, up and done. All right, I'm gonna stay with my 12s here. We're gonna go into a two-way front raise. All right, so you're going to come up, straight up, straight up, and then rotate your palm. Palm down, palm down. All right, alternating between the two, here we go. Straight up, straight up, palm down, palm down. Good, lifting from your front delt. Good. When we sculpt that deltoid in the front here of our shoulder, it gives us a more symmetrical look, more sculpted. And when you're wearing those sleeveless tops, that makes all the difference in the world. Come on. Stay as heavy as you can here. And front, nice work. I think we've got one more each way. Good, and finish here. Nice, now you're gonna meet me on the floor. We're gonna go into a little V-sit here. Heels down, toes up. Level one, you're gonna stay with your feet down. Level three, two, you're gonna lift up. We're gonna do four, three different biceps. Outward, all right, center. Now flip the wrist here, hammer, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hammer, two, three, four. So notice my different positioning of my hands, out of my body, center of the body, hammer curls, two, three, four, out, two, elbows stay glued to your rib cage, center, one, two, three, four, Oh, two, three, four, good. Out, two, three, four, center, two, three, four, hammer, two, three, four, woo! All right, guys, we're going right from the top. Grab your heaviest weight. 
We're gonna go into those pivots. I'm gonna start my right arm into my left side. Remember, it's a pivot clean. Clean it, two squats, and a press. Pivot, clean it, good. Nice, so that clean as a rack, rack it up right here. Two squats and a press, nice. Clean, should be able to handle a fairly significant weight here. 10s, 12s, 15s, up, go. Remember what the goal of strength training is. It's muscle fatigue, it's pushing it past this point of comfort. Oh, I was gonna row. See, that's what happens when you're not paying attention to your body here. God. Two pulses and one press. Nice, all right, switch arms, you're done with that side. We've got one more side. Should feel that heart rate elevating. Taking it to that pivot other side. Here we go. Punch in, clean it, squat two, and press. Pivot, clean, add a little power to that clean. Are you getting as low as your squat as you can? Up, pulse, pulse, press, nice. Hinge, clean, pulse, pulse, uh, down, up, up, yeah. Clean. Up. Woo! 12 seconds. Up. Up. Press. Stay with me. Clean. Pulse. Pulse. Press. Done. All right. Woo! All right. We're going to go into that lateral squat. Two high pull rows back. One skater, right? Yikes. All right, going to that left side. Here we go, lunge it in. Row it two times. Step back into a skater, you got it. Good, come on, big strong row. Driving that elbow. Good. Think about that back, guys. If you're not thinking about that muscle, you're not working it enough. Come on, really squeeze. Oh. Good, so not only do we want a nice sculpted front of our shoulder, we want a nice sculpted back. So we're symmetrical and balanced. This helps with your posture. When that front of your body, your shoulders are sculpted and strong and your posture is good, you're gonna look leaner and smaller. That illusion, yeah. Whew, all right. So you're gonna take compliments 24 seven, guys. Well, I don't know about 24 seven, but a lot of the day, maybe 12 hours a day. All right, taking it to the other side. Same exact thing. Here we go. Deep, one, up, two, so do not rush it. Good, come on, two rows. Abs are working extra over time here. Good, come on, up, up, and skate. Beautiful, come on, up. Oh, so these are multi-joint exercises. A lot of different muscle groups coming to the party. That's what makes it metabolic. That's what makes it a compound. So these are time efficient exercises so you can get a lot done in a short period of time. Excellent, all right. Woo. All right, we're gonna go into those. Uh, Windmill squat reaches. This is gonna bring that heart rate up. So if you don't wanna take it quicker, you can stay stationary right here, all right? Alternating sides. Here we go. Reach, reach, reach. I've got 12 pounders here, which is heavy enough for me. Reach across towards that ankle. Push your booty back. Get into a squat. Yeah. 29 seconds, ooh. Ah. Do you feel your legs? Each time your body crosses over, your obliques are working, so that means extra abs. Come on, gaze forward, 14 seconds. You're almost there. Oh. Come on, you got it. Four, three, two, 
one, hold. Whew. All right, we're going into those raises. Two-way front raise, hammer raise, palm down raise. Here we go. Up. Good, palm down. So nice and easy, lifting from those delts. Control it. Beautiful. All right, when you're doing this, if your weight is too heavy, it's gonna make you wanna do that. All right, I don't wanna see that. All right, we don't wanna arch that back. We wanna use those arms and control them slow. Nice. All right, can you do both arms? If you can, you're gonna do two. Beautiful, two front. Do it again. If you need to alternate, alternate here, Sue. You're gonna do one more round of each. Let's go, one more round. One and two and one and two. Quickly, meet me at the base, going into your biceps. And remember, outward, center, hammer, all right? Just changing the location. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, hammer. One, two, three, four. Now bring those heels down to the floor if you need that extra support. Two, three, four, hammer. Two, three, four. We're working three different heads of that bicep. Four, center. Two, three, four. Elbows glued. Two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Hammer. Oh, ha. Out, two, three, four. Center, two, three. Let's finish with four, center, four, three, two, and one. Oh, whoo. Let's crisscross it out. All right, block one is done. Never to be seen in this workout again. Whoo, roll those wrists. All right, bring your body up. Let's grab some water here. Shut off my timer. We'll go into a little bit of a little stretch for those legs. And then we're gonna move on into our second block of strength. And then we've got abs to finish us out. Mm. I just spilled water all over me. All right. Get back to my timer here. So let's just go into a quick quad stretch here. Another side. Let's just sink it side to side here. Looking good. All right, so here's what we got. So for our first move, you're gonna want maybe a little bit lighter weight. I'm gonna stay with my 12 pounder. You're going to be rotating between two exercises, all right? So you're gonna cross, bring your feet together, you're gonna cross your left hand across to your opposite hip or kind of around your waist. You're gonna hinge down here. You're gonna come into a lateral raise on the side. So your elbows are slightly bent. You're gonna give me four of those. Then you're gonna go into a straight arm press. When you start with that lateral, it's coming from the inside of the body to the out, and then straight back with that arm, okay? Four and four. 10 seconds here, so you're gonna do the right, and you're gonna do the left. Control is the name of this game. I'm gonna turn sideways, feet together, hand across to that hip, hinge forward, slight bend in that elbow. Four, three, two, and one, now lower, straight back, one, two, three, and four, lateral raise, one, control, two, three, and four, straight back, four, three, stop it by your leg, two, and one, here we go, four, three, ha, two, and one, stay with the four straight, four, control, three, two, and one, excellent, switching sides. So we're working the delts, the front, the rear, rhomboids, triceps are coming along, here we go, wrap it around, feet together, hinging down, uh, getting ready, slight bend in that elbow, four, huh? three, up, 
two, one, four, straight back, four, control, three, two, and one. Remember when you give me that lateral, you're not pulling that elbow behind you. It's directly out to the side. Three and four, straight, four, three, control, two, and one. Again, one, control, two, three, and four, straight back, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. Now you're gonna grab the mate to that. You're gonna come into two weights, and these weights are gonna be over your shoulder. You're gonna hoist them to the left, you're gonna hoist them to the right. 45 seconds, this is no joke. If you need to lighten down, just go to one weight. Here we go. To the outside of your shoulder. So you're rainbowing them. Now, if you need to support your back a little bit more, Give me a staggered stance. Try not to arch backwards. All right, keeping the weights in front of your body, right by your shoulder or your armpit. All right, I don't want it to come down any lower. That'll put a little bit too much impingement on your shoulder. Up and around, 17 seconds. Good, how you doing? Now your core's coming to the party. You're getting a nice rotational work through your waistline. Good shoulder work as well. And done. All right. Staying with those weights. Now, you could even go heavier here. I'm going to stay with 12s, maybe go 15s next time. All right, you're going to hinge down. You're going to give me a double row in for three. Then you're going to stand. You're going to give me a three double curls. All right, three and three. Here we go. Squeeze. Two. The weights are squeezing together. Now, stand up. Three elbows in. Two, all the way down, all the way up. Three, here we go. Hinge. Three, two, one. Come on, curl it. Three, hook, two, hook, one. Good. Down, row. Two, three, curl it. On, two, push hard into those weights. You know what? I don't know if I will go 15s next time. I'm feeling these. Two, three, come on. One, hook, two, hook, three, last row, three, hook, two, and one. Woo! Maybe on the floor. All right, we're gonna go into an inside outside kneeling push up. So our hands are gonna be wide. Down, push off, come up, narrow, up. All right, this is 45 seconds because so control yourself. I don't wanna see your booty up. Here we go. Out, lower, push off, center. Push off. So you're getting a chest here. You're getting a tricep here. Good. Log and load that body. Come on. Wide. Center. When you give me that center, watch my body here. Arms are out. Now, when you give me that center push up, elbows skim your rib page so you can get that tricep in here. Come on. Good. Narrow. Nice work, wide and narrow. Up. Chest and tricep working and recover. All right, towel off. We got one more round of everything and we are done, okay? Woo! All right, we're gonna go into that four and four lateral raise. I'm gonna grab my 12 pounder here. I'm gonna start with my left arm. Feet together, arm across, four lateral raise. Straight out to the side, one, two, think of controlling this, three, four, straight arm, four, control, three, two, the bottom of that weight goes towards the sky, here we go, lateral raise, one, control, two, how you doing, three, and four, straight back, four, notice how your core is fighting to keep in, Alignment here. This is unilateral. Come on. Two, so we're giving love to one side. Our goal is to make them both strong and symmetrical. One, two, three, one more. Oh, switch it. So if you're saying to yourself, man, I'm not sure I could do one more, your weight is right where it needs to be. All right, 
Let's take it to the other side. Brace those abs. Feet together, hinge down. Here we go, lateral raise. Four, up, three. Remember, it's not going behind you. Two to the side. Straight back. One, control. Two, really tighten that arm. Really press. Four, lateral raise. Out to the side. One, two, control this. Three, four, connect your mind. Feel how that core is helping you get the work done here. Three, and four, one more round. Two, three, four, keep those knees soft. Four, three, two, ha ha, and one. Woo! All right, we're going into our double rainbow. I'm gonna stay with those 12 pounders. Remember, you can do this with one weight if two weights is not working for you. All right, stagger that stance if you need that support. Here we go. Rainbow. Up and around. Support that back. There's a lot going on here. Shoulders. Your biceps are working here a little bit. The triceps are coming to the mix. Tons of core. Waistline. Oh. Breathe. Heart rate's coming up. Push the weights together so you're getting an extra boost. Maybe a little through the chest. Come on. Wow. Nine seconds. Push hard, guys. You can do this. Oh, this is your last one. And you got it. All right. I'm going to try my 15s. Why not? If it doesn't work, I go to 12s. All right. So nothing happens to me. Whew. Double weight rows, double weight bicep, three and three. Here we go. Squeeze, two, three, stand, three, two, and one. So far, so good. One, up, two, keep those elbows in, three, stand. All the way up, all the way down, one, two, and three. Curl it, go. One, two, uh, three, stand. One, two, three. Now it's getting harder. Come on. Three, two, one, standing curl. Three, two, one, and done. Meet me on the floor. Last round of your in and out push ups. All right, then we go into some abs. Woo, I'm feeling these guys. All right, wide, narrow. Here we go, catch it. Chin and chest high, narrow. So think about this, as soon as you come up, get those hands ready, push yourself down, explode your body up. Good, so keep the gaze going forward. Catch that body. Keep the booty tucked down. Yeah. Good work. Ooh. Quick time check here. 15 seconds. Go. So you could easily do these off of a wall if you're struggling. Good for me to mention that now, right? But hopefully you're smart enough to think about that and recover. Grab a stretch here. Ha. Ah. Ooh, open up those arms. Press it out. Beautiful. Let's just go into some side stretches here. All right, so we are done with our weights. So now our workload is going to be 30 seconds with a 10 second recovery. You will have two rounds and you will be done. Okay, sound good? All right, so we're going to start with those twisting inchworms. So the only difference that we're gonna do with the twisting inchworm is, is we're gonna take that outside leg, you're gonna cross it center, you're gonna cross it across. So here's what it's gonna look like. Remember tight rope feet, rotate your hips forward. So every time you come back to this spot, you need to rotate forward here, just turning that hip. All right, so here's what it looks like. Soften it out, you're gonna walk all the way out. Outside leg, you're gonna pull it in, you're gonna cross it, and then you're gonna hike back. And you're gonna do that again. 
You may get two in, you may get four in, you may get five in, but make them good. 10 seconds to go. I'm gonna bring my timer down so I can see the timer. All right, here we go. Left hip, line up those feet, rotate your hips forward, soften the knees, here we go. Walk it out, plank position. Knee, knee, walk it back, reset, rotate, good. Knee, knee, feel that waistline, yes? Rotate in, come on, soften the knees. This is not about speed, cross, cross, walk it back. Good, come on, stay with me. I think we got one more here. Cross and cross, walk yourself back, change your weight to the opposite side. All right, now your body's gotta hold on to this. Rotate forward, soften the knees, here we go. Outside leg, come on, cross, cross, walk it back. Reset, rotate, soften, walk. Knee, knee, walk it back. Again, come on. Whoop. See, now that one I did not reset, so my bad. So before you go, you wanna reset your feet in that body, rotate in, walk it out. So that was my bad. All right, meet me on the floor. All right, we're gonna go into a heel crunch. So feet are gonna walk in towards your booty, knees over your ankle. You're gonna reach and scissor your arms. Pinky is going towards your heel. Switch, 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 switch. It's a little outside oblique work here. So your arms are rainbowing, heel, Heel, heel. I sound like a dog trainer, right? Come on. Side to side. Keep going here. Up. Up. Recover. All right, nice work. All right, so you're gonna lay all the way back now. This one's a little different, guys. Straight legs. Elbows are gonna skim towards your side. All you're gonna do, push your elbows, just lift your shoulder blades. So now what you're doing here is a little scapula push-up for your upper back. But you're also working that top, that rectus abdominis. Keep that neck in line. When you come to the top of this move, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. Just a small little up. Squeeze and release. Head tracks in line with your neck. Relax the shoulders. Small move. You got it. Come on. Woo, and recover. All right, your last exercise before we go into this one more time, you're gonna go into a sit-up reach. Here we go, Hup. and reach open. So it's a little sit-up. And rotate, good. Hup. Hup. Nice, and rotate, beautiful. <clears throat> Scoop it in, open, nice. Full sit-up. Open, other side, full sit up, open, mm, here we go, mm, last one, awesome, come on up, we're going into our twisting inchworms, so I'm going to start on the side that I finished, because I really didn't do a good job on that side, all right, align those toes up, feet together, rotate your hip, soften your knees, here we go, cross back leg in, across, Walk it back. Remember, this hip is facing forward. Soften. In. You may notice that it's harder on one side than the other. Good. Turn and rotate. Up. Oh. Knee. Knee. Walk it back. So those feet should be aligned in that row. Up. Oh. Knee. And knee. Oh boy. Woo, switch sides. Ah. Woo, toes align. Rotate center. Soften, walk it out. Ah. Knee, knee. Walk it back. Come on. Ah. Knee, knee. Ah. Reset that body when you come up. Rotate, soften. Last 
one here, guys. Come on. Woo. Rotate. Knee. Knee. You got it. Woo. All right, meet me on the floor. Here you go to those heel. Walk your feet back so your knees are under your ankles, hands overhead. Here we go. Side. Switch. Hook. Slide. Come on. Try to get your pinky towards that weight. Uh, shoulder should be off, so your shoulder blade should might be skimming the floor slightly. Head to the sky. Just scissor those arms. Uh, obliques. Three, two, one. Oh. So we got a scapula sit up with an ab work. So elbows right overhead. Now lower down. Keep the elbows close to your rib cage. Lift. You weren't lifting up in one unit. Squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Feel those abs working. Hup. And down. Squeeze. It's a small move. Hup. Oh, you should feel that. Uh, woo. And down. Come on, focus. Seven seconds. Neck stays in line with that head. Relax the shoulders, concentrate on that ab. And release. All right, we're gonna go into those overhead sit-ups with that rotation at the top, arms overhead. Peel your body up and rotate. Here we go, peel it up. Slowly, articulate, pull it up, reach, open, slide it down. You got it. Come on, reach it open. Oh, awesome. Big rotation. Open through that chest. Oh, yeah. Woo, and up. Awesome work. And done. Lay back or just hug those knees around that spine. Awesome work, you guys. All right. Give yourself a nice forward fold stretch here. Awesome. Bring one leg behind you and then bring the other leg in front. So this is a 99 row, 90 90 rotation. So take your ankle in line with your knee, your front ankles in line with your front knee. Hold it here. And I just want you to rotate up and down. All right, so you're gonna lift up. You're gonna feel the stretch of the groin and back through that quad and hip. Rotate up. Beautiful, one more. Excellent. And sit back. Now, rotating over that front leg, walk yourself out, sink yourself down. You're gonna feel those legs kind of stretching a little bit from those pivot lunges, side lunge. Nice, come on up. Let's switch legs. So again, set that leg up 99 knee. Knee, ankle, knee, ankle. All right, rock yourself up. Sink yourself down. Try to keep those legs grounded. Good, feel that stretch through your pelvis through that hip flexor, squeeze. You can slightly push that pelvis forward. Good work. If this bothers your knees, you can stay in that hold. Good, you've got one more. And release, rotate over that front leg, walk it out. Nice. And walk it back in. We're going to bring those feet together. You're going to rock yourself up right here. Slowly hike your hips. Ooh, nice and easy. Slowly come up to about halfway. Let's swing it left to right. And front to back. Little ragdoll arms. You got it. Four, three, two, and one. Let them hang. Bring your body up the rest of the way. Let's go into some switches and then we'll switch them. Awesome. Let's go into a quick tricep stretch. Elbow back, stretch one. Give yourself a nice stretch to one side. Oh, feels good. Grab the other elbow, pull across. Good, take those hands behind you, interlace. Push forward and look down towards your toes. Beautiful, 
shoulders just go into a little bit of a stretch to that chest. Open up those arms, chin to the sky. Come back to center, scoop it down, grab a nice dry enormous inhale, pull it up, come to your heart center. Give yourself a round, you guys. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed your compound strength. Some good abs to finish this out. Have a great day. I will see you on our next workout. Take care, everybody. Bye.